is normally you would see the completion of the flail, but there isn't a completion of the flail. The rotation is on the bottom, bro. The rotation's on the bottom, dude. So it's like... Like that, dude! That is sick, dude! It's so weird. It like... I would, you would typically see like that, right? Or like... Or like that. You would typically see... You would typically see... Boom! Flail, right? But no, it's it's a reverse. It's a flip. It's a fist flail. It's a fist flail launch, but it's in this. It's it's in this uh, orientation. Fist flip. It's a fist rotation launch, but it doesn't move. Oh, dude, that is sick. Join the Gloving Academy Discord. Here, you can share light shows and lab with other glovers from all around the world. We have an awesome community dedicated to helping each other improve. This is the only place in gloving where you can get rewarded with free gloving gear just by being active and participating in public events happening every month. I have already given out a handful of recharge packs and all you have to do is be active within the Discord. We've got workshops, concept labs, competitions, and a growing library of free resources available no matter what skill level you are. And if you would like for me to do a frame-by-frame -frame video of your light show, you can submit your video on the Discord. We're only gonna get bigger and better from here, so follow the link in the description to join. This show was for fun as I discovered this song and I knew I would have a good time gloving to it. I also haven't posted a show in a while, so I was looking for something to post on it. I feel like I could have done better. It was my second, third time recording myself with this song, but I really like the energy flow. Okay. Focus, where can I expand? Where can I expand? What drills practice would you recommend to clean up techniques? What are some moves that I could use a branch off of what I am showing here that I might not have thought of? Don't be afraid to go hard on me. I know things I know there are things I could improve. I just like outside perspective. God, he's my uncle. Okay. My phone died mid... Oh, no. Phone died mid-song, so I was unable to record a proper ending. Okay. I did not use editing software, but typically... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's watch Magic Smoke, guys. It's a little bit odd composition with the, um, the spacing. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I gotta buck that, that moment down. I like it. We got the balance. I love the song, dude. Oh, oh, that. Dude, nice balance. Some angles could use a little work. Dude, he's like in it, bro. I get like this intensity from him. I like it. Yeah, some, some. Oh, <laughs> got that cat. That's dope. I love the space usage. There are some angles that definitely need some cleaning up though.
Hell yeah. Welcome to the next level. Dude, that's dude, that was crazy, bro. Dude, okay, honestly, guys, honestly, honestly, Magic Smoke has come a long way, bro. Like, Magic Smoke's shows before just used to be a technical library. It was like a tech diary, bro. So the fact that he's, like, picking parts, like, he's, it, it, it almost feels like he's building certain parts, and then he'll go in, right? Which is a huge, in my opinion, a huge improvement, bro. So Magic Smoke... I am super proud of you, bro. Like, like that feels like a light show more so, right? It feels like an actual light show. It's not perfect, but it feels like more. You're you're getting more into that performance aspect. And he would do like these like um, these little poses, right? The showmanship, um, moments of like you know breaks, which is a huge improvement, guys. You have to watch the old one. It, it, it's it's. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube, but you have to watch the old ones, guys. It's crazy. So yeah, awesome, awesome job. Um. So, there's a lot of things. A lot of things. Okay. There was this move. Okay, first of all, okay, we need we need a better composition. You need to be up, brother. Like the fact that you're sitting down actually limits you to doing certain angles and why um I'm not sure if you guys caught but his his the, the hand on the left side was doing a couple uh, awkward angles. And this is just solely due to the fact that we're sitting down and the camera's literally, you know, we have all this space up here. So that that, that messes you up significantly. Um, and I'm going to tell why later. But I, I, I like this idea, but the fact that it starts off at this angle is it's super asymmetrical. So I get this sense of, uh, I get this, this sense of not being symmetrical at the very beginning, which is off-putting. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. So I want to see more symmetrical. If you're gonna do this angle, right? You got to You got to do this angle. You got to do that angle. Let's see if he does that angle. Cause I don't remember. No, we don't, right? And so it's it's off. It, in terms of like the whole grid, it's off already, which is weird. You want it to be symmetrical, unless you have a reason. Unless you have a reason to be asymmetrical. You know, with with I mean, it really depends on the performance. There's, I could talk about many ways on how you could start off being uh, asymmetrical, like. Um, like if I'm going to have like this hand, right. And then just come up and I, if I'm not going to do this, I'm going to have this hand, like at least like, right. Like utilize that and utilizing your space, adding a story to it. That's how I would start asymmetrically, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of intent starting asymmetrical here. Actually, let's talk about the connectivity first, like the connectivity between the movements. It's very disconnected right now, right? If you look at the point of contact, it's all disconnected. I feel like like being disconnected is risky at the start because like I don't know it, it's it's how do I say this maybe it just has to deal more with presentation I think it's just more about presentation than it is about disconnection disconnecting actually like if you're gonna start like if you're gonna start disconnected right at least like be your your composition with the entire like camera should be like you know if you're gonna come up here maneuver right come up here maneuver being symmetrical but then like it doesn't have to be connected actually but the problem that i see is that there's a lot of disconnection which makes it look asymmetrical right like here like i want to see like hard connections with your liquid like connect these two these points together get a sense of completion because right? it's all disconnected right now it's all disconnected right you see that it's all disconnected there isn't a sense of like Connection. 
I like this. This part made my creativity go, whoa. Like, doing, like, I don't know, something about it, like, with his vibe is so dope. Like, it, it's like a liquid dragon, bro. But he just does it for an instance. What I would want to do... See, this is what I would do with that. Feel, feel free to build on it or take it. Go around and connect it. Connect that liquid. Because, like, this angle is so dope, bro. And then, like, you could reverse it. Even connecting your elbow. Make it, like, it's almost kind of like bone breaking. But there's something about, like, this. Because both hands are forward. Where, like, there's something about it. Like, you could, because you could come do this angle, right? I don't know, I look stupid right now. But, like, that that just had so much potential. Because you're above your head, right? And I notice you might want to bend, okay? You might want to practice your flexibility on this. But your head is facing, like, that way. Like, practice having your head down so you have a straighter grid. But, I mean, regardless... Maybe, maybe this will work if you do it the opposite way. Maybe this just works. I don't know. This is my opinion because it's it's pretty straight. But, like, we're going here. This is a crazy angle that, like, I want to see you build on it. Like, there's so much, like, opportunity there to build on it. Where, like, you have it, like, there. But, like, you can, like... This is what I used to do. I used to, like, pull my stuff. But, like, doing that in a liquid form to me is just crazy. Right? Or, like, you, there's so much grid opportunity there that looks so... I don't know, man. You know what I mean, though, right? Like, that's sick. Yeah, more connection. I like the dissecting. So, so Magic Smoke is really, like... N he knows that, like, space is, a, is, a, is, is a really important. So, he's utilizing a lot of dissecting. You see him do, like, splitting apart his moves pretty often. But he might be utilizing it as a crutch. We can simply just do secondary movement. Like, we could literally, like... If we're gonna like split split apart, we just have the point of contact where we just move our body, right? Like if we're gonna do something here, just secondary movement. Secondary movement. We don't always have to be dissecting, even though I I, I admire the fact that he's utilizing dissecting pretty often within this show. This flail. That's a really interesting lift off. Just that moment. Look at that. Like he like he like goes around with his hand. His bottom hand will turn. I don't even know. Okay, he's his bow hat his bottom hand will turn and then it would oh man, what does he do? I'm getting confused now. I like the setup. Look, look, look at that. Look at look at his hand. It starts from down here, and he'll do this little turn, this little flail, this little fist flail thing, dude. And then he'll launch, but when he launches, his hand doesn't do the flail, it's static. That's what's so trippy about it. Is normally you would see the completion of the flail, but there isn't a completion of the flail. The rotation is on the bottom, bro. The rotation's on the bottom, dude. So it's like... Like that, dude! That is sick, dude! It's so weird. It like, I would, you would typically see like that, right? Or like... Or like that. You would typically see you typically see boom flail, right? But no, it's it's a reverse. It's a flip it's a fist flail. It's a fist flail launch, but it's in this it's it's in this uh orientation. Fist flip it's a fist rotation launch, but it doesn't move. Oh dude, that is sick. That's actually that's new like oh man, imagine when you watch this video or if you're here, build on that, bro. That's different. Yeah. But yeah, pay attention. Okay, yeah, magic. We need we need hard connection. We need hard points of contact. We need more. Your 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 moves are a lot of separation. I mean, which is not bad, but it's also a crutch because you're always separating. Like okay, so like notice how magic smoke. Like he'll he has like pass throughs, split pass throughs, but like. When we're in, like, the hard stuff, so we can talk about the main thing. Like, stuff like this, okay? Look at that. We're, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Pay attention to that. So, really cool. I like this form. I want to see you play in this specific form even more. 
one thing you could do, right, is like when we're here, right? This is basically like a like a creature, but like, you know, staying in that, playing with the tools that you have, I could literally go boom, boom, move, right? Or like boom and like play around with that just that somehow. Boom, boom, I don't know, boom, boom. Playing around with it. Just play around with it. But this is what I'm talking about. So I'm not lagging. We're air tracing a lot. We're air tracing a lot. So what ends up happening when you do air traces a lot? When you air trace, air tracing is risky because it it potentially could make you break logic. And this it happens here. Like when you trace down, notice where these fingers land and like it's in the air, right? So when you do your actual movement here with, th with this hand on the right, the point, look at this, look, look at this area. Okay. Because we're doing a hinge forward, but there's no point of contact because we're air tracing. So then therefore look at where you're landing, right? There's no, it's, it's, it's weird. This is your isolation point here, technically, right? At this, this region, but we land here, but what's that? What's happening, right? The logic is odd because we have this three and then there's like a point there. And then we have like a, a, a hidden finger down here, which I'm not sure if you meant to do this. I think it could work, just not in the way, not in the execution, um, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that, right? And it's, it's odd to land there. It's kind of like, instead of just isolating on this palm and then hinging, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's more like that and then landing than it is that where there's an isolated point and you can definitely see that that's what's happening. A little bit more discipline on the connections. A little bit more discipline on the connections. Because this, this landing is nice, okay? But if you're going to land there, if you're going to land there, then you better hinge. You better land there and have that as an isolation, right? Or like, yeah, you land there and you have that as an isolation. Um, But the landing kind of goes off here. Because... Because we're here now. And there's a lot of like negative space here. There's this action. There's that little thing there. Landing on a knuckle here might not be the cleanest execution. We kind of do like a. What the heck? Okay, so there's two things happening here. This hand is leading, and then this hand is leading. So it's like it's like pick a certain hand to lead. Um, yeah. So, like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. The biggest thing that Magic Smoke needs to do is just practice hard connections and logic practice. Like, practicing those hard traces to land and have, having that objective path to trace and having that pinpoint, like, landing is going to make your moves look, look a lot more like they make sense. Um, because because of the air tracing, it's very free, which is cool in some cases. In some cases, but when you have too much air tracing, sometimes you'll like land in a place, and then you'll like you you might actually do the point of contact and then land, and then like it doesn't make sense when you actually land in another form, right? So hard connections, hard points of contact when you're tracing, uh, staying committed to the trace, and then not floating and. Um, you know, maybe even ambidextrous training where it's like, okay, leading with my right hand. Okay. Lead with my left, Le lead with my right, lead with my left, left, right, left, right. L See, even I'm messing up left, right, right. Hinge with my right, hinge with my left, hinge, 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 trace, trace, right. And then you can reverse that hinge, hinge, trace, trace, hinge, hinge, tr trace, trace. So doing that kind of practice when you're when you're labbing tech, right? So like it's like you want to equal out if you're gonna trace with the right hand with the left hand. 
Hinge twice with the right, hinge twice with the left, then trace, right? You get the point. Logic is difficult. Yes, logic is definitely difficult. And um, that's what separates the good Glovers from the great Glovers, right? Is you can tell that their logic... There's something about... It. Not a lot of people will talk about it. But, like, I think this just happens subconsciously. Where, like, there are some Glovers where you look at their show and then, like, you'll be like, okay, yeah. That is like the execution is great. That's how you figure out execution, right? Because it's happening. It's happening in it's it's happening so fast. But then there's like certain shows where like you can't quite put your finger on it. Where it's like, huh? Something about that is weird. It's probably because of their logic. It's probably because their logic doesn't make sense. There's uh, cutting corners here and there so often, and it's really hard to catch unless you're going frame by frame. So and so, look at this. So see. When we're doing the set, the, the dissecting here, we obviously have that point of contact right there. This is it, okay? But like, when we're doing the dissecting, his movement, he's not, this hand is still moving. And then this hand is moving. So it's its a movement problem as well. It's practicing your movement. It's clearly sticking. It's, I'm gonna talk about it again, but there needs to be a stick, right? We're moving this hand before this hand is paused. So look at that, one more time. It's not bad. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. But you can tell in frame by frame. It's moving, look, it's moving at the same time. It's moving at the same time. See that, especially there. It's actually, he's bending his arms down while this hand is moving. So there's a lot going on. So it's just sticking. Like if you're gonna l just move one hand, then move the other. Move one hand, then you could move both. But like having that discipline, I, I think this is a, is is a, it's an extremely important time to go slow. You need to smooth it out because you, you gotta get used to your body. Like even when I'm in this form, like there's like I feel it in like my lats, right? So it's like, even with stuff like that, it's like just going slow. So you feel what mechanics in your body are at play. You feel the point of contact. Like you just do it multiple times and you feel it. Like, look at that. I'm already lingering. Like, so it's like, okay, I'm going to look at myself. Am I moving parts of my body that I shouldn't be moving? Or like, you know what I mean? Is this comfortable for me? Could I be in a better angle? Do I just do that angle? So it's kind of like, you know... Like, when I'm doing that, like, it's like, I feel it all in my traps. I feel it in my lats. So it's kind of like analyzing the angle and what muscles are being used. And, and it's harder to do with fingers because, like, you want to move your head. Especially, like, some glovers, myself included, will have bad habits with their head tilted. And that, like, defect, that, that directly affects, like, the grid, right? Like, like, you're, like, subconsciously moving your head and you can't catch yourself. It's like, okay, you got to be, like, locked in even more to, like, catch yourself. Okay. What is not supposed to move? That's the mindset you have to have when you lab. Next time you lab. Like, like here, it's like the landing here. It's just, now it's just perfecting it, Magic Smoke. We got to perfect our movements. Perfect our landing points. Perfect our connections. Because there, you're not landing. It's just in the air. It's like, I want to see this box close. Or this square. I want to see it closed. And so this is what I was talking about earlier. Because we're sitting down, we have this weird angle, okay? We're, we're forced at our hands to be at, I mean, our, our, our biceps in the Z-axis, that when you're in, like, things like this, when you're sitting down, because you're higher, right? You're forcing yourself to go higher to the camera. You're forcing yourself to go higher to the camera. Even though, like, this is harder, okay? This is harder to do. You're like, you're like you can't even go up. You see, you see what I'm saying? I have to go all the way back. But that's because you're lower. The camera has to be lower. It's too high. Because I can't go back. But guess what? When I'm sitting down, I can go back easier because now I have this Z-axis. Right? When you're sitting down, you can't do that. When you're sitting down, you're you're kind of um, limiting yourself. Yeah, also, Magic Smoke, we gotta... There's a lot of body movement now. There's there's too much body movement is we gotta learn how to control our body while doing all these connections because 
Um, it's it's taking you out of the grid. Yeah, yeah, glo guys, gloving gloving is is you know I'm sure everybody even magic I'm sure magic smoke knows this and everybody knows this. Gloving is also learning how to move your body. Like there's a this could look better. You know what I mean? Like because right now it kind of just looks like just like op opening, but like you know it it could be straighter. It could have more tor torque. It could be like that. You know what I mean? It could. There's more illusions here. It it could be more. It could be more. It could just. And more doesn't mean speed. It could be like. There could be an intent behind it. Um, but we're like in it. So it's kind of like, you know, like that's such a. It could be more. So magic smoke needs to. Okay. So there's two. So we need to go slower. We need to practice going slower and then having that like those nice contacts, right? To really feel what muscles are working. But we also need to practice going fast and sticking, like fat, like fast, fast and pause. So match the drills that you need to do is when you're doing your connections, point of contact, fast and stop, fast and stop, fast and stop. Feeling that control. There needs to be more control, like more confident control. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Like moving just, just like that. Just practicing secondary movement. Both hands are sometimes moving at the same time. When like the song is like, bram, 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 right? Very faster, faster sounds. So like, like I want to see like, you know what I mean? Like, like secondary movement, but like interchanging your leads. Like I did this before, like right, so stuff like that. But like it's kind of like we're like moving both hands at the same time, um, and so it kind of loses that um, musicality points there. Point of contact, speed control within secondary movement, blend like feeling the muscle within the secondary movement, and then yeah, fast and doing the stick. Did I already say that? having a stick when you're doing your secondary movement. Um, good job, good job though.